Um, I was definitely into music from, like, being a little kid. Mm -hmm. I took piano lessons since I was five. Okay. And kind of switched to guitar uh, around, like, middle school. I wanted to be more of, like, some kind of rock and roller. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh... I guess I didn't really sing in a band until the band right before Sun Airway, the A side. Okay. But I mostly just played guitar in bands and like played in hardcore bands and all, I was all over the place. Graphic design and art background definitely influences. I feel like all those processes are kind of they go hand in hand. Mm -hmm. And I'd be doing. I mean, I do. I did the album art for the for that album, so that kind of had the same idea to just kind of look like how I think it sounds. And the way the way I make music is very similar to the way that I make art or design stuff because it's just kind of pulling influences from all these sources and kind of getting anything out of anything and just building something new out of it. All through high school, I just wanted like hardcore and punk and whatever like everyone else wasn't listening to. So mm -hmm. I kind of ignored anything relevant <laughs> in music musical history so i kind of in college had like i discovered the beatles which is like uh kind of sad but i think all through high school i thought that that was for like nerdy hippie whatever and uh i just ignored it and then when i finally got into it i felt like that's all i wanted to do was so it ended up being the the A-Sides was very much like kind of 60s, very much like Beatles, Beach Boys, straight up. Like, Well, then after one of our tours, everyone quit mostly, mm -hmm. except for Patrick and I. Patrick plays the drums. And uh, already we were moving in like a totally different direction again. So since everyone left, we were wondering if we should just start a whole new project and kind of start from scratch and we felt like things were not really going great <laughs> with that band and we really had no attachment to the name if anything we thought it was like just the, didn't represent us anymore we wanted something more uh that didn't kind of have any other association so we just started over the name for sun airway came from uh looking at a lot of <laughs> posters and books and everything from all over the place and making tons of lists and just kind of crossing names out here and there but uh eventually sun airway was the one that was left and that came from a poster of an old airline called the midnight sun airway in the live band now there's four people um, we had five at one point and i play keyboards and sing and the whole thing was kind of about figuring out how to kind of we made a record first and then we tried to figure out how to do it live because it's all nothing on the record is really live instruments it's a lot of samples and some synth kind of stuff and but we wanted to have a more engaging live show than just two guys and laptops so we kind of took a took apart all the recordings and like split it up between whatever instruments we could think of at first, like, we were just inviting musicians we knew to practice and saying, you have a guitar, keyboard, bring it all, we'll see, like, what works. And eventually we have, we figured out, we have, Patrick plays uh, a real drum set and has an electronic pad for a lot of the sample stuff, mm -hmm. and we have a bass guitar that covers kind of anything in the bassy end, and um, we have someone playing guitar to just kind of fill in ambient kind of textural stuff. Mm -hmm. And then my keyboard is mostly programmed with samples that are from the record. And What genre would Sun Airway be under? I have no idea. <laughs> no way. It's definitely some subgenre, I guess. Mm -hmm. It's been referred to as all kinds of things, but one that comes up a lot is bliss pop. So I'll settle for that, I guess. Yeah, the visual component of our live set is uh, also a result of not wanting to be two guys on laptops. Because mm -hmm. at first we thought that might be what we were. 
So <laughs> we wanted to make sure that we at least had visuals that accompanied everything. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, um, I just met through our manager, uh, this guy that does, he does that stuff for a living. He does a lot of like big corporate clients and projection stuff for them. Like we met up once and he just asked kind of like what the songs were about and ideas that he had about them and if I thought what I thought about them and everything I was just <laughs> like do whatever <laughs> you know we don't have anything like I totally trust you to do whatever so the visuals are synced to every song so that's part of we were already running uh, the videos are basically sending there's an audio track on the videos it's just a click mm -hmm that is being kind of transmitted back to Patrick on the drums. Uh, he's got headphones that just have a click in them because we needed that anyway because all the samples are really timed and they have these weird rhythms that you can't just, uh, you can't just play along and hope for the best. You really need it to be like right on time. So mm -hmm. since we had that, it made it easy to make the visuals and to not worry about it. Uh, straying too much from like tempos from night to night we can change the order that we play them because we're mm -hmm. still triggering we're still starting each song manually okay that was like one thing we wanted we didn't want it to be like this one thing that we were locked into because then if something goes wrong or who knows you're totally screwed so yeah. where i see sun airway after releasing another album is i don't know it's try not to think about that or speculate too much because you don't really know mm. and it's definitely best not to get your hopes up with anything especially in the music business um but i think i mean really ever since i've been doing any music stuff it's been kind of a steady incline so i'd like to keep that up for sure and hopefully just i mean we've gotten to do so much cool stuff already that more of the same would be great and uh, yeah, just getting more different opportunities is always fun. Yeah. I really want to tour Japan. Haven't done that yet, so hopefully that'll eventually happen.